Ladies and gentlemen, so we are just the morning after the vice presidential debate. Tim Walls was caught in a major lie. It's over. There's no going back from this. He just completely destroyed the entire Harris Walls campaign. Let's watch it. So it's a very simple question. Go. For Walls, you said you were in Hong Kong during the deadly Tiananmen Square protests in the spring of 1989. But Minnesota Public Radio and other media outlets are reporting that you actually didn't travel to Asia until August of that year. Can you explain that discrepancy? Yeah. So the question is, you said you were in China at this time. You weren't. Why did you lie? Go. Yeah. Well, and to the folks out there who didn't get at the top of this, look, I, uh, I grew up in small rural <laughs> Nebraska. Uh, I come from a middle class family. He learned from Kamala. Just I came from a middle class family. How are you going to fix the economy? Middle class family. How are you going to stop the wars? Middle class family. A town of 400, a town that you rode your bike with your buddies till the streetlights come on. And I'm proud of that service. I joined the National Guard at 17, <laughs> worked on family farms. And then I used the GI Bill to become a teacher, passionate about it, a young teacher. Uh, my first year out, I got the opportunity in the summer of 89 uh, to travel to China. 35 years ago, be able to do that. I came back home and then started a program to take young people there. We would take basketball teams, we would take baseball teams, we would take dancers, and we would go back and forth to China. The issue for that was... was but why did you lie about when you were in China? To try and learn. Now look, my community knows who I am. They saw where I was at. They, look, I, I will be the first to tell you, I have poured my heart into my community. I've tried to do the best I can, but I've not been perfect. And I'm a knucklehead at times, but it's always been about that. Those same people elected me to Congress <laughs> for 12 years. And in Congress, I was one of the most bipartisan people working on things like farm bills that we got done, working on veterans benefits. And then the people of Minnesota were able to elect me to governor twice. So look, my commitment has been from the beginning. The worry in his eyes is priceless. He's like, I'm lying. I want to stop lying, but I can't stop lying. How do I not lie? I'm a liar. To make sure that I'm there for the people, to make sure that I Thank get you. this right. I will say more than anything. Many times I, uh, I will talk a lot. I will get caught up in the rhetoric, um, but being there, the impact it made, the difference it made in my life. I learned a lot about China. I hear the critiques of this. I would make the case that Donald Trump should have come on one of those trips with us. Why? So he could be purchased by the CCP just like you are? No, nah, we're good. I guarantee you he wouldn't be uh, praising Xi Jinping about COVID. And I guarantee you he wouldn't start a trade war that he ends up losing. Yeah, because he'd be bought off by him. So he wouldn't actually want to go to tr trade wars because he was being paid by CCP like you. Losing. So this is about trying to understand the world. It's about trying to do the best you can for your community. And then it's putting yourself out there and letting your folks understand what it is. My commitment, whether it be through teaching, which I was good at, or whether it was being a good soldier or was being a good member of Congress, those are the things that I think are the values that people care about. Governor, just to follow up on that, the question was, can you... Even CBS is like, what? Listen, listen she's like, this is great. The question was, can you explain the no, discrepancy? Just, all I said on this was, is I got there that summer and misspoke on this. So <laughs> I, I will just, that's what I've said. So I was in Hong Kong and China during the democracy protests went in. And from that, I learned a lot of <laughs> what needed to be in, in governance. For walls. I was in China during the revolutions and uh, democracy protests, and I learned a lot. I wasn't there when I said I was there, and I was there at a different time, but I learned a lot from China on how to govern in America. Ladies and gentlemen, don't think you, that the vice president could become the president at any time. Right? Something happens to the president, VP steps in. Dude, this guy is a professional liar. He puts tampons in boys' bathrooms, right? He runs around, flails like he's on a Saturday night live skit. And he made lies. Just answer the question. Why did you lie about the dates? See, I come from a small family where we ride bikes until the lies come on. And, uh, you know, and then I learned a lot. And Donald Trump should have been there. He said everything but said nothing. Yeah. China, Iran, Russia. They're laughing at us. But not for long. We are only 31 days away, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost there. 
We're going to win. We're going to win big. And we're going to save this country. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Trump 2024 or sooner.